there is a sense that everybody now is a kind of creator or a developer or any kind of profession that can create stuff from scratch. How do you see this influence coming from all these other tech companies in our industry? I don't want to start ranting about YouTube AI dubs anymore because who knows, maybe in four <laughs> weeks they, they deployed another hundred engineers on it and it's going to be amazing and awesome and voice cloned and lip synced. So, you know, who knows? But this TAF translation is a feature, big, big trend, right? There's maybe even nuance in that. Rodrigo, you're saying, okay, somebody's managing the whole workflow in something like HubSpot or maybe Notion. So there you have maybe the workflow component. Like we also focus focused on just uh, having that functionality of translation. Like you, you, you go to Canva and you can click translate my little asset here, boom, it's in Spanish or in Chinese, right? So that was something that just didn't exist five years ago. Now it exists everywhere. Yes, it is a threat and it has taken volume and people are doing a lot more stuff that maybe would have found its way to an LSI in like a past world. You know, on the other hand, it also kind of creates multilingual content, like it boosts the ubiquity of multilingual content. So now everybody just expects things to be potentially in multiple language and hey how can you not like it's so easy to do i do it in canva right i do it in my little adobe thing i do it in hubspot so but then if you do it at massive scale usually the one click thing doesn't work anymore right and if you have regulatory issues if you have uh, certain requirements for accuracy if you maybe don't have a language combination in your little feature then you need to go to a specialist and then it becomes complex and then you need a language solutions integrator but yeah this is a big external force that you have all these companies now integrating translation or multilingual content because of AI, because it's now much easier and people just demand it. Before ChatGPT, they would have had to go to, yeah, like a, a machine translation company. This squeeze wouldn't have been worth the, the choose there. But now, oh, I need AI. I need my little three stars on my product. So <laughs> now we can also do translation. Boom.